Hey, Brian from Garage Mall Hole. Uh, today, I bought another ball peen hammer. Uh, just to give you an idea, this was actually my father's, and uh, it's definitely been around for a long time. Uh, but it got to the point where I needed something just slightly heavier, even though it looks like it's probably about the same size. Maybe that was like kind of like the attraction towards it. Um, it's got a little more metal, and it actually it does feel a lot heavier than this. Um, this one, I'm like, you probably can tell from my hands, I get like filthy greasy because it's like the main one that I use in my garage. Um, and I just needed, I needed something. So I got this. It's got a nice rubberized grip to it. Um, and it's got nice grooves in it as well. So if I use it on like my garage side of the, uh, the studio, um, I know it's not going to slip out of my hands when I get it all greasy because it's got some, uh, some grip to it. That was part of the reason why this thing I ended up having to uh, kind of like surrender to probably, I'm going to clean it up, sand it up, restain it, get it back to, to normal. But anyway, so I got this one. It is the uh, 16 ounce, 454 gram uh, ball peen hammer. So like I said, it's got like the nice flat top to it. And I'm making a video on it primarily because um, when you look at it online, you, you can't really see exactly what the size of it is so hopefully that will give you kind of like some perspective uh, if you're like me and you had a you know a father or a grandfather that like had a bunch of tools and stuff this is probably the ball peen hammer that you had in your uh, in their drawers uh, this is like the the new one like I said it's it's heavier it's got a full metal neck to it so Overall, I think it's going to be a much better hammer. Anyway, uh, Brian from Garage Mahal, thanks for watching, and uh, be safe out there.